Hello guys and welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering a surveying section problem, specifically under part E, leveling. Now let's dive in. Oh yeah, everybody now. Now, if you're currently studying for your FE exam and you are looking for FE resources that will help you pass your FE exam faster, make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Our courses have helped hundreds of students pass their FE exam. Now, let's go over the problem. So the following readings were taken during a differential leveling survey. We are giving the back sides and elevation at point A and then the four sides at point B, and we want to determine the elevation at point B. Now, the thing is, guys, to solve for this problem, you don't really have the equation on the reference manual, okay? So I'm going to share with you guys that equation in a little bit and make sure that you guys add it to your cheat sheet. And by the way, when you guys are studying and preparing for your FE exam, make sure that you create your own cheat sheets, okay? And a couple things you can add to your cheat sheets would be important equations and concepts that are not really mentioned on the reference manual or you just don't want to forget for your FE exam and make sure that you review that cheat sheet just a couple days before your exam, okay? Now, also, we do have our own cheat sheets, which, which we share with you guys. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, make sure that you download it here. And if for whatever reason you don't receive it in your email, you can just email us at hello at jennyprep.com and we'll go ahead and send it to you. Okay. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to just jump right into it. Okay. Usually we pause the video and I give you guys a moment to solve the problem. We're not going to do that here. So we're just going to solve the problem right away because if you're not familiar with these concepts just follow along if you are and you know what to do or have an idea of what to do go ahead and pause the video and give it a try and then you can just join us in a little bit now let's go over some of the concepts before we dive in into the equations so when we are doing a differential leveling survey. So what we usually do is we would put here a level, okay? And then we would put a rod, a measuring rod, at a known point, meaning at a point where we know the elevation, okay? So for example, in this problem, we know the elevation at point A is 600 feet, okay? Now, when we do that, we get the backside measurement. Okay, so from this rod, we get the backside measurement. And the reason we do that is because that helps us determine the height of the instrument. Okay, so if we want to find the height of the instrument, we would do the elevation at point A. Okay, let's just do at point A here. And then we would do plus backside. Okay, now this equation also add it to your cheat sheets, right? Because you don't know what you're going to get on the FE. You might be asked to find the elevation at point B or you might need to find the, the height of the instrument, okay? So just make sure that you guys know that as well, okay? Now, once we determine the height of the instrument, now what we can do is we can put the measurement rod at another point, okay? For example, here at point B, and then we can determine the foresight, and then from there, we can actually find the elevation at point B, okay? So the elevation at point B, the way we're gonna calculate this is going to be the elevation at A, okay, plus the backside minus the foresight. And that's it. So now the elevation at point A was giving us 600, then we're gonna do plus the backside, which was giving us 3.5 feet, and then we're going to do minus the foresight, which is also 3.5 feet, okay? And now if you guys plug in these numbers, you're going to get 600 feet. So now if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be B. Now, if you guys found this problem helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. Now, note guys here that the elevation at point A is the same as the elevation at point B, right? And that's because the backside and foresight are equal. Now, we could have guessed that just by looking at the problem initially without having to calculate anything, right? So if the backside and foresight are equal, that means that both points are going to be at the same elevation. But I wanted to go over these concepts with you guys. And also, I wanted to share with you guys the equations just in case, you know, on the FE exam, you get a foresight that is not equal to the backside, right? So then in that case, what do you do? Well, then you just apply this equation, okay? So something to keep in mind there. 
Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and you found this problem helpful, don't forget to check out this playlist here that has over 100 FE problems that will help you with your FE preparation. Also, if you are looking for those good study resources, don't forget to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,